your next big challenge, PL Cup, Leicester, who actually are flying high mm -hmm. in PL2 at the minute. Yeah, they're top of the league. Um, I've seen a little bit of clips of them. They look a good team. We played them early in the season in a, in a game at, the, um, at, at their stadium for the VR, VR uh, the, test, the Premier League were testing it. And we had a good game with Drew 0 though. Um, I, I think that, you know, PL1, PL2, over a few years I've played it, it's, it, I don't think there's much difference when you're developing groups. In some years you can have a great group. We played Everton twice last year, won the league comfortably. I think we lost 1-0 and drew 1-1. So, you know, I don't think there's much difference. I think that we ex we respect them. I know the manager well, Steve Bigelow. I've known him a lot of years. I think he's an excellent coach, an excellent player developer. Uh, and we understand it'll be a really tough game. But I think we're looking forward to it. Because are they one of those clubs that's kind of, it's gone under the radar a little bit, how well actually they're doing? Because they had a good run in the Checker Trade Trophy, I seem to recall, last year, as you did. Yeah. And... As I say, with them being at the top of a division that includes some of the big boys, they're clearly doing something yeah, right. Yeah, I think, you know, and you've got Ben Chilwell, who's around the first team a lot, who looks a really good player in the 21s for England. So, you know, I think that, like I said before, I know Steve well. His teams are always very hard working. Um, you know, and I think he, he gets the balance right between development and teaching them to win. And I think sometimes people still try and develop at 21s, and I think they need to understand... I think a bit like Steve does it, but you get to a stage now where your next job is about winning on a Saturday and getting three points and paying your mortgage and, and helping your mate next door pay his mortgage. Do you, do you know what I mean? And I think that there's yeah. a realism that some people get lost on in terms of developing too much. I think there has to be a realism to it. I think Steve gets that balance really well. So are you the underdogs in this? I think so, massively, yeah. I mean, um, as, as January came and we've moved quite a few players on, but then some of the players who've come in have done really well um, but yeah I think so they're top of that league I think we beat Liverpool 4-0 the other week so they've obviously got some real quality in there and we know that to win the game we're going to have to be at our best How does being an underdog affect I guess the preparation for you and for the players? Uh, not really I think that we treat each, each game on its merits um, we'll view them we'll look at them we'll look at their strengths how they play we'll look at then how it affects us and what we might have to do differently over the last few weeks, you know, we talk about systems. We've gone a bit more four four two because Niall's back and and Benny's is really doing really well. So rather than just playing one of them and flipping it around, we've gone no, actually, let's change it and let's get them both in. And, and they've created a good relationship between them. Uh, so we'll look at them and say, think how our system works against theirs, and as we do with every game.